Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another festive and fun card for you. This is my favorite kind of stamp set in our catalog. It has cute animals and it's a black line, which means I can color it with my Stampin' Blends, which is my favorite color medium. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make this card today. I've got this little pink dot that just keeps roaming around. I don't know what it's from. Um, I am also using this awesome um, type set. I love it. It's got uh, just big, bold sentiment. So it's called Joy to You, and we're going to use the Wishing You a Very Merry Christmas. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I don't know. I think it, we just need to get started, don't you? We're going to use the little rhino. He's so cute. I've already cut out a label, um, a tag from our, mm, I can't remember the name. Why can I ever remember the names? You guys, I have a free PDF over on my blog that's gonna have the complete supply list as well as the measurements. There aren't very many measurements for this card, but there are two other projects on that PDF that you do need the measurements for. All right, let's stamp this right in the middle in Memento Black. Our uh, stamp and blends are alcohol markers, so you need to use um, stamp and blends. I mean, uh, Memento for the alcohol. Oh, I just kind of spaced out there. You need to use Memento Black, which is not an alcohol ink, for your alcohol markers. Okay, so we're going to do an outline technique here on our little rhino. And I'm just going to take my smoky slate light and I'm going to go around the edges of him. All right, just go around and around and around. Now, I'm going to take my color lifter, and this is the brush end, and I'm going to just brush that color towards the middle. It's going to bleed into that and just create a real light coverage. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing down here, and I'm working kind of in segments. I don't want to do the whole thing and then come back. This just gives me a chance to work with this ink before it dries if I do that. So just take that um, Stampin' uh, Blend Color Lifter and brush, flick that ink up towards the middle of him. All right, now we'll do this side. And I am using the bullet tip end over here on this marker, but the brush end on my color lifter. Now, my color lifter is probably circling the drain. I've had it for years. I need to get a new one. It's not quite as juicy, but the more juicy your color lifter is, the better uh, spread you're gonna get on those colors. Okay, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do for him. We're gonna come back and add some cheeks in a minute. And maybe I do need to add just a little bit of color to his, his ears. Okay, let's do the birds. Um, I am using Balmy Blue, and I am actually gonna do his little skates in Balmy Blue. And then um, I'm gonna do the birds. I'm gonna do the face of this bird, and then the underbelly here, and the tail. For this bird, this next bird, I'm only going to do the wing, okay? And down here, this little guy that's sitting, I'm gonna do the same as I did the first. The face, the belly, and the tail, okay? Now for the presents, I'm gonna do this one in balmy blue, and I'm gonna try to leave the bow white. Okay. See if I can get in there like that. All right, and then over here, I am going to color the bow, balmy blue. Okay, let's, I'm gonna give that some time to set before I start bringing in the uh, poppy parade in there. So let's come over here and do our granny apple, granny apple light, granny apple green light right there. And we'll use uh, crumb cake light here like this. One thing I didn't do on my um, sample, my original, is to add in this little 
line like this. I always like to put a little bit of a shadow underneath so that it doesn't look like they're floating. The artist has actually given us some little lines already, so you can just add in some crumb cake there. All right, let's get, I'm gonna start with Poppy Parade Dark, and I'm gonna do every other stripe. Now, this is very small, so what I recommend is to just tap in that color. Okay, just tap, tap, tap and you'll get just enough color in there without bleeding out of the lines. Okay, tap, tap. And whew, if you have glasses, you're gonna need them right here, like that. Okay? All right, so now let's do, again, this also, you're just gonna need to do a little tap, tap, tap to get the color in. The, the image is more narrow than the tip of your marker. So be real careful. All right, so for the birds, I'm gonna do their hats and their um, scarves. This guy's got earmuffs like that. And this guy, I'm gonna do the opposite. I just tried to vary the images a little bit. And the scarf also. But also I didn't want to introduce too many colors in here so that it was crazy. I kind of tried to keep it limited to two or three colors, which I think we pretty much did. Poppy Parade, Balmy Blue, and Granny Apple. And then I don't count the, the Crumb Cake or the Smoky Slate. Those are neutrals. All right, so there we go. We've got that. Um, I, the first time I colored this, you can see I didn't wait and the colors kind of bled together a little bit. So give yourself some time over here to um, really let that first color sit and you'll have, a, you'll have better luck there with it not bleeding together. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna do is take um, pe light petal pink. This is my favorite marker to use for cheeks, <laughs> for rosy cheeks. And that's it, all right? Now, we're gonna take our Poppy Parade card base and our, our big type image um, for our, our sentiment. We're gonna stamp it once here on our piece of, on our scrap of basic white. And really, I'm only going to use the Mary and the Christmas. Actually, you know what, let's set that aside and give it just a few minutes, well, a few seconds to dry. Red, for whatever reason, smears, I smear it a lot. So I'm gonna give it a, just a, I mean really 30 seconds just to set. And while we're waiting, we're gonna add these, this sentiment across the back of our card. And I'm gonna do it diagonally. Now don't stress about it being straight. Mine is absolutely not straight and you can't even tell, okay? So this is just gonna blend into the background and I'm trying really to vary. So see how this is centered and these are on either side and then I did this one centered in. All right, so just go through here, stamping across diagonally like that. Oops. Boy, that almost landed wrong. And then we'll do this one like that. Okay, you've just created a typography in the back. This is a Walk Through the Garden Designer Series paper. I love the pink and the Poppy Parade together. It's beautiful. All right, let's snip that off like that. And now let's bring back this. And we've got some ribbon. Uh, this is our black and very vanilla check, or black and vanilla large check. And I'm gonna go through here like this. I'm gonna go through the bottom and then through, back up through the top like that, okay? And before I tie my ribbon, I'm gonna take my dimensionals and we're gonna make sure that this tag stays where we want it. And then we'll tie the ribbon after it's in its place.
There we go. All right, now flip that around and get it centered where you want. And then you can straighten out that ribbon. Actually, I want it to go a little bit lower like that. And now bring your ribbon around the inside of the card. Now I know that this ribbon says vanilla. It's um, an off-white, but I think it goes just fine with white cardstock. If you would prefer, you can cut your tag from Very Vanilla. Um, I kind of like the way it looks with white. Just almost a little like, maybe antiqued a little bit, a little rustic maybe. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but I like it. All right, let me cut those again. I want them a little bit straighter. Now, let's get our words right here and just take your trimmer and we're just gonna cut them out, okay? Be careful with your fingers. I took my guard off of my trimmer. I know, I know, naughty, naughty. Shouldn't have done it, but I did. And boop, oops, boop, like that. And if I can actually get it picked up, we'll move this out of the way, get some dimensionals and put this on the back side. Oh, is this gonna be too narrow? I think we'll be fine. I think I can just get them to fit. All right, Christmas like that. And then I am gonna use many dimensionals right here and we're going to put that there now wait we're not done i'm going to add a few snowflakes we have these awesome adhesive backed snowflakes and these adhesive backed snowflakes you will not find in a catalog you will only find them online they are one of our online exclusives they look like this, they come in two different sizes. And I'm gonna take them and try to cover up my boo-boo right here, <laughs> where I rolled my stamp a little bit too far. And we'll put that one right there. And how about another one down there? And there you have it, a very cute little rhino Christmas card. All right, you guys, make sure you go back and visit my blog, get that free PDF. Um, check out the other projects I have for you there for uh, using the Festive and Fun stamp set. And let me know if you have any questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.